serve women who are very affluent. We serve women who have not had much. We serve women who may have values that are different from theirs. And I think it's a lesson in acceptance and compassion. No day is ever the same. So that's probably what I like the most. It's always something new every day. I definitely show them that it is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope for them and that everyone is not out to hurt them or out to harm them, that there are people that will help them and that will help them to succeed in life. And I hope to be one of those people. Sometimes it gets a little bit stressful, especially with crisis calls, just because these people really are in a crisis situation and you really have to calm them down. Most women call when they're crying or and they're scared because they don't they don't know exactly who they're calling or what we can do for them. And sometimes we can't do a lot besides give them references. Because if they're out of our county we can't really help them. They can't really come here unless it's an immediate crisis. Some of them have behavioral problems occasionally, and so I get, I get patience from that, just learning to deal with them and learn what's best for each student or child. Um, and of course, like a lot of them, like even though they're very young, like they're really strong. And I mean, they've been through a lot, but they're still kids, and they've learned their own ways to deal with it. And it's just kind of inspiring for a teacher or just an adult in general to see how much children can put up with and how they can grow regardless of the situation they're in. You cannot plan for anything around here. It's always something new and you have to be on your toes and learn to think on your feet. And um, that's probably the biggest thing. You get to come in and you kind of get thrown into it, but you have a good training program to where you really come in and you're an all around just provider for these people. You're just a safe person. You know, we only work 10 to 15 hours a week, but those 10 to 15 hours, that makes a big deal when it's just coming in, you're a new face, you're bright, you're fresh, and um, you're coming from a different, a different environment where you don't come here every single day. I'm only here two days a week, and so I have more energy walking in the door because I'm not here constantly. But, um, you know, and you help out wherever you, wherever they need you. And it's just about being adaptable and just being positive. That's all they really need is just to be positive. Not only helps you out with kids with my major elementary education, but you just get help with interaction with different people. And then you look, realize the situations that they come from. And when you meet people, you don't know what their situations are, but now you know that Everyone does not come from the perfect home, so it helps you get to know people better and not to, and to look past their situations. I learned how different ways of um, handling their situations versus getting mad with them or disciplining them in a certain way. I've learned how to be calmer about, you know, treating kids and I learned about different situations in life and it's been, it's benefiting me by not being so stereotypical about certain people. I really don't see this as work because I enjoy the kids so much and seeing the kids interact with their mothers. So when you do something you love, it's not really work. So I'm taking away much more than I'm putting in. I think dealing with crisis calls, you really get to you really get to experience someone else's life and that maybe your life isn't as stressful as you actually thought it was and that you don't have as big as problems that other people do and it, it really allows you to connect to a stranger that even through a phone and you know dealing with that and taking it elsewhere um, it just allows you to be less selfish for sure. I take on a lot of things as a student and I mean that shows that I'm still interested in helping my community, especially in the education fields or any really, 
anything you're, you're going to work with service. I mean, you're helping the community and you're learning more about yourself. And really when you learn about your community, you're adding to yourself and things you know. Um, it's definitely a great opportunity and I think like anybody could, if they given the chance, they would enjoy it and learn a lot from it. It is a resume builder, which is great for everybody, but um, it, it adds way more to that than just the resume. I hope that they take a level of professionalism, um, that you can help people but not take care of people, um, that self-determination is a part of life for each and every one of us as it is with the clients that we serve. Um, so I'm hoping that they see that you can have compassion, but that, that balance in life and work is so important and um, that even in crisis intervention, self-care and professionalism must be in place um, to be healthy.